is a data function. Tip cost per file has an amazing collection of visualizations that are one or two clicks of the mouse available for you. So everything that you are seeing here is produced by one or two clicks of the mouse from the menu. So it's embedded in the tool. Now, if you need to go farther, if you need to go farther within your analysis to move into more advanced conclusions and so on, you can always extend the power of those visualizations using a different programming language. So TIPCO Spotfire can interact with multiple of these um, engines or programming languages and the way to interact within Spotfire that user interface that's going to be your data function so if you need to use any of these programming languages within a spot fire go to tools register data function and that is the user interface that is going to allow you to select within any of these programming languages including the tipco enterprise runtime for r which is the tipco version of r but uh, controlling security, optimizing memory and speed. So select the programming language that you're going to use, type your script or use any of the tools that you are used to use to uh, perform and test your script, for example RStudio, and whenever that um, script is ready to go, just copy and paste it here and wire up the inputs and the outputs with the data that you already have loaded in spot file. What is the advantage of having this within a spot file? Many, many times you will need to go deeper into your analysis or you will need to do some kind of user interaction when you are working, for example, what if scenarios or when you want the user to provide a different value on that variable but you want to see the output right there within your analysis. So a spot file is already connecting the data, it's already linked to the original data sources. Therefore, the data is already up to date. Therefore, you have ready everything that you need within a spot file, including the amazing collection of visualizations. So you can get very deep into the analysis that you are working on. But then in addition to that, you can work with the data function and create outputs on the fly that are going to be the outputs of scripts that are running behind the scenes. So this is a typical example where I am doing a clustering analysis. I am using k-means clustering, but I'm not using the default k-means that Spotfire has because I wanted some extra outputs on my analysis. Example of the extra output, this table that is giving me extra information about my clusters, for example, the size and the actual location. An example of the user interface as input is this property control that I'm using on this text area. Uh, if we edit the control, it's just a K that I'm defining on a text area. It's a document properties. You can define your own when you click new and so on. And in this specific case, I am using that slider as part of the data function inputs. So if we take a look of the actual data function that is behind the scenes here, very simple script, three lines, R code, where my inputs X, Y, and K are actually tied up with the data that I have loaded in a spot file or with a property that I have on a text area within a spot file. So all my inputs are being defined here, all my inputs are being called here, and then the output parameters that I'm generating with this script are the column that I'm using to color by in this scatter plot, and the table that I'm using to visualize the actual clusters and the actual size and location. So that's a very uh, quick example of a data function. Now, within a spot file, within TIPCO, within the community side, there is a website that is called Exchange, TIPCO Exchange, that is going to allow you to download a lot of these data functions that are already embedded on DXP files. What this means is that you can download 
any of these examples, like let's say you need to have a contour plot in addition to the mapping capabilities that you already have uh, in a spot file. So just click on that option and download the components. So if you go to the release part, you can download these and then go to your download folder and open and see what do you have available. So in this specific case, if you open the contour plot file, you will have a file that is going to give you the instructions on how to use that data function. But what it means is that if you go to edit data function properties already embedded within the DXP file, there is a script that is going to allow you to add that specific extension to your analysis. In this case, we downloaded a contour plot, so this data function is creating a contour plot. And the file itself is going to show you how to bring your own data or how to use that data function into a different file. Just click on your selection, follow the instructions, or watch the video on how to. But the moral of the story here is that within the DXP, you already have a data function that is doing what you need to do. So go ahead and explore the different options that you have within the community side and download different alternatives to go ahead and optimize what you are already doing within the analytics. Go one step forward and include any of these advanced analysis techniques in your own data using the power of the data functions that Spotfire is offering.